It blows my mind how some people can push such patriarchal mindsets and have absolutely no clue that they're patriarchal. Someone in the comment section of one of my other videos, who's very verbose, was pushing forth the notion that giving women sexual freedom via birth control has actually lowered women's quality of life and that it's decreased women's value according to men. The argument is that giving women sexual freedom has made them more promiscuous, which makes men want to be with them less because men are assholes. And men want to be with these women less, particularly when they get even older, when those women apparently lose value. And therefore, those women will have less of a chance of finding a husband. And this, in turn, lowers their quality of life, even though we don't hold those same standards towards men who are promiscuous. It's a notion that women haven't handled their sexual freedoms very well. It's the notion that the way that things used to be when it comes to social norms, the law, and just standards, were all there to protect women. That it was actually better for women before they had the sexual freedoms they have today. Well, how is this any different than the Muslims who defend the laws in the Middle East in regard to women? Their reasoning is that they want to protect women. How is any of this not patriarchal? How can someone deny that these kinds of beliefs are patriarchal? It's essentially arguing that women can't handle these freedoms and that they were better off without them. Well, with any freedom comes responsibility. And yes, many people do learn this the hard way. But does that mean that those freedoms themselves are bad? Any freedom can be abused. Does that mean we should view those freedoms negatively? What do you think?